Today, we have the ultimate showdown of the broadcasting softwares, Streamlabs OBS versus OBS. Who will reign supreme? I'm LaVonda Rocks, and I'm going to tell you everything you need to know, the similarities and the pros and cons, so you can make the best decision for you. And so you can stop watching all these YouTube videos and just pull the trigger. Let's fight! Essentially, both of these softwares are the same, especially since Streamlabs OBS has been ripping off OBS for a while now. OBS is the basic skeleton, and Streamlabs OBS puts on a fancier skin. It rubs the lotion on its skin. The layouts are similar, and once you've used one, the other one won't feel that different. All right, let's talk similarities. Here's the interface for Streamlabs OBS and OBS. Both have sections for scenes, sources, and both are customizable to fit your needs. User interface experience is gonna be subjective. Let's go over the pros. Streamlabs OBS is beginner and user friendly because it's all inclusive. All the widgets and themes are super easy to set up and they're included. Taking a look over here, we have the alert box library. It's as simple as clicking on it, installing it, and boom, there it is. Another great thing about Streamlabs is the ability to test the widgets right there in the UI. There's also a section for themes. So it's a one-stop shop. Now, some of them are paid service or premium service, but you can also come up here and just type in free and you get a load of free themes. Let's just install this one and there we have it. So we've got our alert box set up, our overlay webcam, we got our video capture device, and the stream labels have already been imported. You can buy a Prime subscription, which gives you access to a whole bunch more overlays, themes, and widgets. But in my experience, it was not needed. I did buy it, but I didn't use it very often. So we've got our starting soon, our collab cam, we got socials and a live scene. So easy. The ability to test your widgets is also a really cool feature of Streamlabs OBS. And now for the cons, the negatives to Streamlabs OBS. It's definitely not as customizable and some of the functions can get a little clunky when you're trying to customize. It is definitely more CPU intensive, but this is gonna depend largely on your hardware and the types of things you're trying to do. And the CPU usage is actually the reason why I switched over to OBS. I needed something a little bit more lightweight. I was having way too many problems with Streamlabs OBS. Another con is delayed updates. Streamlabs OBS is based on OBS. So if there are any updates, OBS gets them first and Streamlabs is a bit more behind. So the main takeaways. Streamlabs is great for noobs and anyone who just wants to get right in and go as fast as possible. Be prepared for some performance issues, less customization, and slower updates. Now let's take a look at OBS. OBS is very feature rich. It has hundreds of customizable plugins, tools, and docs to make it fit anything you'd like. It's more stable and has less crashes. It's less CPU intensive. This is really gonna come down to your hardware, what settings you're using, and what you're doing with your scenes and sources. Setting up overlays is a little bit more confusing for a beginner, but once you get the hang of it, it's not that hard. Plus there are tons of tutorials from creators like Nutty and Hey Shady Lady. Go check out their stuff. The easiest way to set up alerts and overlays is by using stream elements in OBS. It was a little bit of a learning curve for me, but in essence, you're building an overlay in stream elements, and then you're just copying it over as a browser source. It's coming over, I can create a new overlay, add widget, add an alert box, emulate a follower event. And then all you need to do is copy the browser source, head back into your OBS, click on sources, browser source, call this alert. There we have it. Because OBS Studio is the backbone upon which Streamlabs OBS was created, it receives the latest updates, features, and patches really quickly. For example, if NVIDIA releases an update, like a new GPU encoder or driver, OBS is gonna get it first. Now let's talk about the cons to OBS. The plugins can be complicated to use, and beginners have an extra layer of learning to contend with when setting up their alerts and overlays. So the main takeaways, OBS has hundreds of plugins to make it super customizable, and it's not as big a resource hog as Streamlabs OBS, but be prepared to spend a little bit more time learning and setting it up initially. So who's the clear winner?
Well, that just depends. If you're a beginner or you're not looking to get incredibly technical with your streams, or you want to get up and running as quickly as possible, everything in one place, a one-stop shop, just use Streamlabs OBS and get going quickly. When I started, I used Streamlabs because it was the easiest and the most convenient, and I needed as few barriers as possible because streaming on its own is its own skill. I didn't want to spend hours figuring out how to use broadcasting software. I also felt overwhelmed by all the tutorials and all of the plugins and all of those things when I first started. And this is really what Streamlabs OBS is designed for. It's a way more plug and play option. Additionally, moving over to OBS after I'd been streaming with Streamlabs OBS was not that big of a stretch. And it really only took me a couple hours to move everything over. Now, if you want to get more custom and create advanced technical aspects to your stream, just go with OBS right off the bat because it's more customizable, it has more plugin support, and it's more stable. OBS is also way more popular among streamers, so if you need any help, you'll likely find it in the community. Sometimes as beginners, we let things get in our way because maybe underneath we have some fear about starting something new. And here on this channel, we're dedicated to just starting and not giving in to our perfectionistic fantasies. So whatever you decide, whichever one you go with, just jump in and get streaming.